Genomic Medicine Institute was founded in 2012 by Mark Williams, a geneticist and informatician. And the goal for the institute and the community is to help patients integrate genetic information into their care. The Genomic Medicine Institute is based in Danville, Pennsylvania, in central Pennsylvania, but it's part of the Geisinger Health System, which covers a large, mostly rural area of Pennsylvania. So we serve a community that is rural, is uh, in many places medically underserved. The Genomic Medicine Institute takes advantage of the unique population in central Pennsylvania, which is a small town rural population, which leads to a stable population, meaning people don't move. So we have electronic health data going back to 1996. That's ideal for longitudinal genomics research. Geisinger has a long-standing genomics project called MyCode, and one part of MyCode is to review the exome sequence data that are part of MyCode and look for pathogenic variants in genes that are known to increase risk for cancer and heart disease. The other important thing about those genes is that we know that there are interventions that help reduce those risks for cancer and heart disease. What really brought me to Geisinger is the power of what we can do with our MyCode Community Health Initiative. To think about bringing the power of this DNA sequencing to the community to hopefully prevent disease in individuals and their family members um, was just really a very exciting development in precision health um, so that we can hopefully keep people healthy. One of the other things we've noticed about uh, genetic information and care is that we need to use technology to scale the integration of genetic information so that uh, we can use some novel digital tools to help uh, make sure that we're doing this integration, not just for individuals one at a time, but across families and across populations. We have already returned over 1,600 results to individuals in our MyCo program. And we know over the course of the next multiple years, we are going to have to return thousands more results. And even though we have a large genetic counseling team, we knew that we needed innovative tools and technologies to help us scale to the entire population. So chatbots are one of those tools. And so we conducted six focus groups across the entire clinical enterprise of Geisinger to really get MyCo participants feedback on would they use a chatbot? So it was interesting because we had a lot of naysayers at first who thought there's no way, you know, the patient population at Geisinger would want to interact with this type of technology. And we've been really thrilled to see that as we've deployed these, we've actually seen a 60% uptake of individuals saying, yes, send me the chatbot. Because of our uh, strong partnership and involvement in the community, there's a high level of trust. We have a very high uh, consent rate reflecting their altruism and trust uh, in Geisinger. We've found that genomic medicine works best when it's a piece of medicine at large. And so that means that we can't just rely on information about somebody's genes to guide their care. We have to help them figure out what that means. So those challenges mean that we need to lean on the types of science that are kind of the real world science. How does this information actually work when you try to put it into practice? So implementation science is what gives us the tools to really learn in the real world, to learn how these things work in context. Uh, it gives us the tools to study everything at the, the patient level, the clinician level the community level, the system level. What we're learning, again, is it's, it's not just enough to say, um, implement a clinical decision support tool or to give a patient a genomic result. It all happens in the context of their lives. Uh, we have to put in the tools that they need to help them engage with the system. You know, I think we're at an exciting time right now in genomics. We know a lot about the links between genes and disease and uh, that tells us that we can do some really sophisticated things at understanding the people's disease risks. What I get excited about is figuring out how that fits into medicine overall. So most people use cohorts like MyCode to look for diseases like cancer or cardiac disease. 
Um, we took a different approach and wanted to learn about brain disorders. So our study found that about 1% of individuals who are in the MyCode cohort have a genetic change that can cause brain disorders like schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, autism, et cetera. We've now given genetic results back to about 140 participants in MyCode that relate to a brain disorder diagnosis. And the patients have told us that they've lived with these conditions, um, but they never had a reason. And so we've medicalized what they've been dealing with their entire lives. Guy Singer CEO has articulated that our vision is making better health easier for everyone we serve. And the Genomic Medicine Institute is perfectly aligned with that. We are trying to understand the best way to use genetic information to help our patients stay healthy.